Hello and welcome back to the channel. There's been several changes and improvements to Authentic since my video on multi-factor authentication. In a section of that video, I went over how to set up Duo, which at the time was a tedious process. Since then, the process has vastly improved and has become more streamlined, which I'll demonstrate in this updated video, sponsored by Authentic Security. If you already have a Duo account, feel free to skip ahead and log in, but if you don't, know that you can sign up for a free account for up to 10 users. So, the first thing I'll do is click to log into my Duo account. Once logged in, click on Applications to expand it, and click on Protect an Application. In the search field, type Auth, and you'll see one of the results listed as Partner Auth API. Next, to the far right, click on Protect. On this screen, we are then provided with an integration key, secret key, and API hostname. We will be needing all this information when setting up Duo in Authentic. If you scroll down a bit, you can see you can change the policy to either require user enrollment whenever possible, allow access without 2FA, depending on if the user exists in Duo already, and if so, require enrollment, or straight deny unenrolled users. I'll be keeping the default policy of requiring enrollment. If registering several partner auth APIs for different applications, I definitely recommend identifying them to prevent confusing them. So I'll type in auth duo and name that thing. And click save. Keep the duo tab open and now navigate to your authentic instance and log in with your admin account. Click on admin interface. Click on Flows and Stages to expand it. Click on Flows. Click on Create. Give your Duo flow a name. I'll name it the same as I did within Duo, but it's not necessary, so name it whatever you'd like. And for title, I'll go ahead and give it a title of Duo MFA. For designation, choose Stage Configuration, since users will be configuring Duo if not already enrolled. Don't confuse this with the enrollment designation, which is for the enrollment for Authentic. We obviously want to verify a user's existence at login, so for authentication, choose Require Authentication. Don't need to change anything for behavior settings, and don't need to do anything for appearance unless you customize your instance of Authentic, as I have. So just to keep my aesthetic cohesive, I will choose a background, and click Create. Then, we want to find the flow that we just created. Click on it. Click on Stage Bindings. And click on Create and Bind Stage. Next, click on Duo Authenticator Setup Stage. And click Next. Enter a name for your stage. I'll just name it the same as my flow. And enter a unique name under the Authenticator Type Name. This is what will be listed in the Enrollment drop-down menu, making it clear what type of authenticator a user is choosing. We have now come to the section where we need the information from Duo mentioned earlier. Click back to the Duo tab and click Copy next to the API hostname. Click back to the Authentic tab and paste what we just copied into the API hostname field. And repeat this process for the integration key and secret key. Then, click the arrow next to Duo Admin API, which is listed as optional, to expand it. This is one of the improvements that was missing from the older video. It is an improvement because, as stated, when using a Duo MFA access or beyond plan, an admin API can be created. This will allow Authentic to import devices automatically. Before this, this was done manually through a much longer process. Once expanded, another integration key field and secret key field are presented. So. Click back to the Duo tab once more. Click on Applications, which will list all protected applications. In my case, it lists the Auth Duo application we just created, as well as the Admin API. So I'll go ahead and click on that. If we scroll down, we can adjust the permissions if needed. In any case, and as before, copy and paste the integration key and secret key into Authentic's Duo Admin API section.
Under Stage Specific Settings for Configuration Flow, click and choose the flow we created for Duo, and click Next. Change your order number if you prefer. I'll change mine to 10, and click Finish. If you already have an Authenticator Validation Stage implemented in your main authentication flow, click on Flows. Find and click on your main authentication flow. Click on Stage Bindings, and click to edit your Authenticator Validation Stage. Or, if you haven't implemented this stage yet or want to edit it directly, click on Stages. Find your Authenticator Validation Stage, and click its Edit icon. Either of these methods leads to the same page. On this page, be sure Duo Authenticators is checked under Device Classes. Scroll down and under Configuration Stages, search for and click the Duo Setup Stage that was created to select it, and click the right arrow to move it over as a selected stage. Nothing else has to be changed, so we'll go ahead and click Update. Finally, we can enroll with Duo by clicking on User Interface. Then click the gear icon for Settings. Click on MFA Devices, and click the Enroll drop-down list. We see our Duo MFA listed as an option. I'll go ahead and click on it. And I'm presented with a QR code for setup. At this point, if you haven't already, download and install the Duo mobile app from the App or Google Play Store and launch it on your mobile device. Tap on Setup Account, then scan the QR code. Authentic will go back to the enrollment page, and it's at this point you can name your account in the Duo mobile app, but I'll keep mine as is and just tap Save. Now that I'm enrolled, I'll click to log out and test Duo MFA. I'll log in as usual. This time for authentication method, I will click on Duo Push Notifications. And as you can see, I received a Duo Push notification on my phone to either deny or approve. Once I tap Approve, Authentic loads me into the user interface. Well, I hope you found this updated video helpful, and if you did, please hit that like button. And thanks for watching.